Okay, I'm making a video to describe what a uh, RAM disk would be used for for Google Chrome. Uh, if any of you ever tried to pull up any video in Minecraft videos or and you heard that disk spinning and you have a kind of an older computer and maybe it's not functioning quite so nice anymore and you want to speed it up a little bit on your you want to speed up your Google Chrome a bit or any other application you could use a RAM disk to do so. Where I got my RAM disk was from Datagram. Um, just go to Datagram and you will find whoops that is not what I wanted to find. <laughs> RAM disk and the Google search and the third link down or second link down is RAM disk. That's where you're going to download RAM disk. After you download the free version right here and go to install it, you'll come up with this. What I do is I install 1024 bits, megabits, uh, which is one gig, to a new hard disk. And what I do is I have RAM disk save it when it shuts down so I never lose my data. And I'm going to start RAM disk. saving the disk image and that will bring up my RAM disk right there. So then what I want to do is go to computer and I find it right there. It's H drive and I'll format it and I'll format it in NTFS. Okay? And I'll do a quick format and I'll start it. And okay, close it now I can get now I can close that down and I have my RAM disk here. It's built. It's ready to go. So I will open it. And I will put a new folder in there called default. Oops. And I will also put in a new folder. And I will call it temporary. internet files okay now that I have those set up I will go find my Google Chrome data where it saves cache go to app data percentage click on app data go to local is where yours is going to be Google Chrome user data default. It's right there. So for the purposes of this video, I will close, I will rename this default one. Oops, you know why that's not working? Because I have to close that. It's in use. Yeah, no shit. So default one, rename it. Okay. So now that that's done, I have a default in here. I have to put a shortcut to my default folder in here. So that way, uh, my Google Chrome will redirect it to my new RAM disk. So from here, I'll just open up a command prompt. And I put a file, cd, c colon, forward slash. I put a file called junction.exe and you will need that and what you do is you open up a, a little notepad notepad and like I said junction.exe so that's be a first paste and you're gonna quote your copy paste your file folder here which is data user data and then you're gonna add slash uh, slash default and end quotes okay now that is where your file existed it doesn't exist anymore remember we we changed it and this is where we want to write it to so we're gonna copy copy paste this and add quotes as well 
quotes and highlight it. Control C for all you shortcut. Oh, by the way, in Command Prompt, if you ever want to go to Properties and go to Options uh, and do the Quick Edit Mode, what that means is you basically get to copy paste just by highlighting something. In our case, we highlighted. Uh, notepad and we copy paste we, we copy it we now wouldn't paste it to paste it we're just gonna right click and that'll paste it for us it's a little easy uh, use usage of the quick edit mode so we're gonna hit enter and hopefully we're correct I am back after the phone went my phone rang and since I'm tech support I gotta answer it okay so here's where we were and uh, I'm going to hit enter and that seemed to have worked okay I put a little shortcut if you notice there's a shortcut here to the default section of my H disk okay the reason why we made temporary internet files by the way is if we right click this um, pinned desktop I, I pinned Chrome to the desktop to the start menu so make it easier to use I'm going to right click that and go to properties now what you'll see on the end of this added text is space dash dash disk cache directory and that would be my disk dish wow disk direct cache directory that I'm going to put right here and then confirm that I spelt the word temporary right, which may sound like easy for most, but unfortunately for me, <laughs> it's not. All right, temporary internet files. You see that right here? Okay, within that, we're going to make another folder called Chrome. Chrome. And enter. And that should be it. I think we're all set up now. I hit OK. As long as my temporary internet files match my directory, my default is set up. I have a shortcut right there. Now, when I launch Chrome, we should see this start to fill up with something. If I'm correct, let me see. <clears throat> okay. You see all that? No, we did. Now we have some stuff in there. So now my disk drive is absolutely quiet when I'm going to YouTube now. I could go to YouTube and I don't hear my hard drive spinning at all. I could click on any but video small I want. Talk. I mean, I think you can mute it. And you'll see them come right up. And I don't hear my hard drive. I don't, I don't see the all I see is the video come up. I don't have to buffer. I don't have to wait. There's no system buffering at all. And that's really it. That's as basic as it gets. If you want, there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of tutorials out there. This is just mine. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it.